وللحديث أكثر حول عالم ألعاب الفيديو ينضم إلينا أوسكار ويندل وهو مدير أول في فيوتشر بلوك تشين سمت Hello Oscar and welcome to Game Changers. We're so happy to have you here in the studio. Thank you, Hannah. So first of all, let me ask you, how have you seen the buzz around gaming and esports grow in Dubai over the last few years? Especially in the last year, I think it's been growing explosively with the Dubai Esports Festival that took place at Expo last year. And now with the crypto community coming in with Web3 and gaming, mobile, different platforms, it's uh, growing in a very big way. and. It, getting a very broad appeal. Oscar, how can a country really benefit from hosting large-scale gaming and esports events? Like, where does, where is the benefit to the country that hosts these large events? I think that gaming uh, really appeals to all kinds of um, new audiences. And everyone is curious with the new types of games that are coming on with, um, with mobile and not just the esports. Uh, and uh, as such, it's so interactive with events as well. It's not just a spectator sport. You can play at, the, at the, these events themselves. And um, I think it's a great way to come together across cultures. It's, it's a universal language. So in your opinion, Oscar, how will gaming feature at Jitex this year? Well, I look after a part called the Future Blockchain Summit, where, where we're really concentrating on the Web3 community and crypto and metaverse. So there we're going to have a stage, we're going to call it the Gaming Coliseum, and uh, bring in the esports and uh, entertainment with fashion from the US, having a, a fashion show with music and creators and parties. So uh, it's going to be a lot of fun this year. So in your opinion, why the region is so interested in video game industry? You think it's the future? Oh, no, no doubt. There's, that's undeniable. It's just uh, how, how much of the future will be taken up by gaming. But do you think having gaming as part of a forum like Future Blockchain Summit or Jitex, do you think this solves one of the problems of at least making gaming relatable to the mainstream? Like, does it, does it help address some of the preconceived notions around gaming, maybe some of the negative yeah, ones? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, um, I think with, with eSports events, it tends to appeal to a certain subset of, uh, of mostly men, I suppose. But gaming is really big, and I mean, especially in Japan, for instance, it, it has a huge audience of women. Uh, that are that are older and and now this uh, this is going to expose a lot of new audiences to new types of games not just the the first shooter gaming the first shooter thank you so much oscar for your input thank you وبهذا كان معنا اوسكار ويندل وهو مدير اول في فيوتشر بلوك تشين سامت